Hey crazy YouTubers, welcome to my channel, this is Shiki Pets. Today's video is going to be my daily Thursday routine with the pets. Something you guys need to know really quick before the video starts is I work every Thursday evening. That means my whole routine has shifted later by a few hours compared to when I work mornings. I hope you guys all enjoy this video and please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like this video. The very first thing I do in the morning is say hi to the cats. So usually Hector is always in the hallway tripping me, telling me to pet him. It's like, it's my turn. Um, I quickly go to the guinea pig room and I say good morning to them and I give them their morning treats. Tablets, so I usually grab one to cut one in half and give them each one half of the treat. If you wanna travel, then go if you're gonna leave, I'ma let you go. While they're crunching on their treats, I also give them a scoop of pellets. This is the only pellets they have all day. I'm tired of the pain. Go. Now last but definitely not least, I give them a whole bunch of they love hay, they eat hay all day long, and hay is a very important part of the guinea pig's diet. Now I leave the guinea pig room, Hector is usually standing right outside the door just waiting for me to come out. He knows it's his turn, it's their food time, so this is when I'm going to check their food bowl and their water bowl. I always, always feed them, and he's being really, really silly this morning. <laughs> I have no idea what's up with him. But I just feed him them some I Am's food. They get a cup every morning and every evening, as you'll see later on. Usually when they start seeing the bottom of the bowl, they act like it's the end of the world and like there's no food in there. When you can clearly see that there is some food. I'm also going to give them some fresh water over here. Um, they're bad cats and they often drink out of the toilet, just like dogs do, but um, they surely appreciate a nice clean bowl of water. This morning, Heather was pretty interested in the leaves that were blowing around on the porch and I... spend nine hours a day at work. When I come home, first thing I see is the cats. Heather's actually never forgiven me for giving her flea medication. She acts offended every single time that I pet her, afraid that she's gonna get more. First thing I do when I come into the house, I actually search for both cats and make sure that they're actually in the house. Hector likes sneaking out to the porch and he surely knows he's not allowed out there. Next I'm going to feed the guinea pigs. They always get their vegetables around 9 or 10 o'clock at night, so they're definitely expecting it. I'm running a bit low on vegetables today, but I've got some celery, lettuce, and carrots for them. My girls are picky and they have preferences. You can see Silica here is just eating the green off of every single leaf she can find. Um, usually I'll find some carrot near the end or some celery, but I never see any lettuce left behind. Alright, so if you haven't noticed, I'm pretty sure you have noticed, there's a lot of poops. Um, I have them spot clean today because it is a cage clean day. I typically do them on Thursdays. Um, sometimes I'll do it on Wednesdays, but I usually do it on Thursdays. Um, so I've had one problem recently and I've only had one cage liner so I've been trying to get my sewing done to get more cage liners ready and so tonight I'm actually going to finish 
this uh, cage liner right here. If you guys want to know how to make a cage liner, I'll leave a link in the description box below on how to make them. And if you guys were wondering how the guinea pigs fare while I'm using my sewing machine in the room, this is what they were doing. Now it's time for the cage clean. First I wash the beds and then I clean out the cage liner, pick up the poops, and then I switch out the cage liner. I have speed clean videos as well if you want to check those out, I'll link them down below as well. It usually doesn't take me more than 50 minutes to clean their cage, so I just put them in the laundry basket next to their cage while I do so. That way I can keep an eye on them while I keep doing the work. watching this video so far, comment below with the word panda and let me know. I always feed the girls twice a week. It's always easier to do a drain cage cleaning because you already have them out of their enclosure anyways. My camera kind of died, but this is how much they weigh. Every evening about 10 or 11 o'clock at night, I always top off their hay for the evening. Something I try to do every evening is sweep up the hay off of the floor. This helps containing it to that one room and hopefully limiting the spread throughout the house. Now it's bedtime for the piggies and I'll turn off the lights. That is if Hector lets me leave the room. Right before bed, there's a couple things I have left to do. Spend a bit of time with the cats and, of course, feed them and check their water again. Whether it's throughout the day or just at night time, I always give them some cuddles. My cats love cuddles, they're my big babies, and I surely give to them every single day. Usually by about 1am, I'm gone to bed. So if you guys all enjoyed this video, please comment, like, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys next time.